What up YouTube, it's your boy Jarrell coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talking. Today I want to discuss the much anticipated fight of 2014 taking place June 7th on HBO pay-per-view in New York at the Madison Square Garden um, between Sergio Martinez and Miguel Cotto. Will this fight live up to the hype? That's a question that I ask myself. Fans all over the world are excited about this matchup, myself included. But if you pull yourself away from the excitement and bring yourself into reality and objectivity, you have to break down these two fighters um, individually and look at where they're at in their career at this moment in time. Miguel Cotto is a 154-pound former champion who's moving up in weight to face the lineal 160-pound champion Sergio Martinez. Miguel Cotto will be the smaller guy, <clears throat> and he will be the guy at a major disadvantage in pretty much every category except experience. And I know experience can play a big role in any sport or anything in general in life. He's been on this stage plenty of times against Margarito, Pacquiao, Mayweather, Clyde, Judah. The list goes on and on. So he know he knows what to expect from these big fight atmospheres. And he usually rises to the occasion. Sergio Martinez, on the other hand, really hasn't been on this level in this type of atmosphere that he will experience June 7th in New York with thousands of Puerto Rico Puerto Rico fans, Puerto Rican fans, excuse me, screaming for Miguel Cotto, trying to help him through what will be a grueling fight. Um, both fighters seem to have animosity towards each other. Martinez a little bit more than Miguel Cotto. Martinez feels that Cotto uh, brushed him off uh, four years ago at an event in Mexico where he just wanted to uh, walk up and introduce himself. And Martinez has stated since that moment in time, he he's wanted to fight Miguel Cotto. Well, Martinez finally gets his wish, and he gets Miguel Cotto in the ring June 7th. Miguel Cotto, in my opinion, wants to fight Martinez now because he sees his opportunity or what he perceives as his opportunity looking at Martinez's last few fights where he hasn't been as impressive as we're accustomed to seeing. Um, we all know that he dominated Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in their big fight um, up into the 12th round where he re-injured his knee and had to have surgery. Um, that was the first knee injury where he got knocked down and almost got knocked out. And then you fast forward to his bout with Andy Murray, where he hurt the knee or the knee wasn't fully healed and he re he did more damage to it, causing another uh, surgery, back-to-back -back knee surgeries that put him on the shelf for over a year. He's just been cleared to resume, resume training, you know, a couple months ago. And he's been talking a lot in the media. He was upset with how negotiations went because Cotto, you know, wanted to come out first, wanted his name first in the promotion. You know, let's be real. Let's be real. Miguel Cotto is the A side of this promotion, but he should also respect the fact that Martinez is the lineal middleweight champion of the world, and he should be willing to budge. Of some of the demands of Martinez, but the Mar Martinez, you know, gave everything Cotto wanted from the interest walk of last to being introduced last to his name being first in the on the promotional banner to um, even the 159 pound weight limit. Neither fighter can weigh in over 159 pounds at weigh in. Neither guy will struggle with that. They're both consummate professionals. But when you look at Martinez's style, you would see that his style will cause all types of problems for Miguel Cotto. He's bigger, stronger, faster, more athletic. He has better boxing skills, in my opinion. Miguel Cotto doesn't do as well, doesn't do well against guys with fast hands, 
Example, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao sliced and diced Miguel Cotto for 12 rounds until it was stopped in the final round. He also doesn't do as well with boxers. Austin Trout. The fight was competitive, but Trout clearly won the um, decision. He outboxed Cotto. He stuck his jab out and he gave him movement. And if you look at those two fighters, Manny Pacquiao and Austin Trout, Sergio Martinez is kind of a blend of both guys. He has speed and power, has quick feet, and he has the ability to outbox you. Miguel Cotto has to be something he hasn't been before. He has to be able to avoid Martinez's combos and, and get Martinez on the ropes to do damage, you know, with his patented body work that he was so known for in his prime. I know his fans are expecting him to, you know, get the victory and, and make it a competitive fight, but this fight has the potential to not live up to it because Martinez, in my eyes, have er has every single advantage other than experience, even though he fought Chavez Jr. But like I said, Cotto has had many top-notch fights against elite fighters so he has the edge and experience but any other category you have to favor Sergio Martinez add on to Sergio Martinez is motivated he seems disrespected and he should be disrespected you know he figured how the hell you gonna beat Devin Rodriguez and have nerve to call me out not because you truly feel that you can beat me at my best is because you feel that I've lost a step and my knee surgeries will be holding me back and that I'm a shot fighter or past his prime. And he stated repeatedly that Miguel Cotto is going to sleep. So Miguel Cotto will have to be at his best and be clicking on, you know, firing on all cylinders to pull the major upset. I don't want to give a prediction. Because a lot can happen from today all the way up into June. But I am strongly leaning towards Sergio Martinez in a very impressive uh, victory by way of KO or TKO. Either he's going to stop uh, Miguel Cotto with his two hands or the ref or Freddie Roach will be forced to stop the fight and save Miguel Cotto from himself. Like I said, I'm still anticipating this fight. It would be a great fight, but... After the first two or three rounds, I see Martinez figuring out Cotto and starting to overwhelm him with his pure size and speed and movement. And he will have Cotto confused, looking bloody and out of his limit and out of his comfort zone on his way to an impressive victory. Like I said, it might be seeming like, you know, this is my prediction now, but I'm going to go into a more detailed way of how Cotto will have to win or he could his keys to victory as well as Sergio Martinez as I continue to study film but I'm just this video is solely based upon fans are hyping this fight and rightfully so but I think they're setting themselves up for a big letdown because early you know early footage of watching film you have to favor Martinez especially a, a 90 to 100% uh, Sergio Martinez. We've all know what he did. He, he iced Paul Williams. He 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 clearly beat Pavlik. He knocked out Macklin and, and Barker. And so his track record is impressive. He's an elite fighter. Both fighters are future Hall of Famers, and this will be a very good fight early. But if Mikhail Cotto cannot answer the speed of Martinez, he will be in for a long night. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. Leave comments in the section, uh, comment section below. Share the video. Give us your feedback. You know who do you favor and why, and what do you think would be the keys of the fight. Also like our page on Colossal Boxing. I mean on Facebook. Excuse me at Colossal Boxing Talk. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.